Betsy had big brown eyes and an even bigger smile, a mother of three girls in her mid-50s. Now at the time, I was a fellow at Washington University in St. Louis, doing, <laughs> pretty good place, thank you, doing a combined geriatric and nutritional science fellowship. So what was I doing? I was looking at the interface between brain function and body composition. Betsy, Betsy was one of my favorite participants. And I imaged Betsy's brain, mother of three. She had always struggled to lose the same 20 pounds. Yo-Yo dieted her entire life. You guys know someone like that? I know you do. Is that someone you? I imaged Betsy's brain, and it looked like an Alzheimer brain. And I knew that one day, as I was going through those rounds on the nursing homes, on the dementia ward, Betsy was going to be there. We failed her. We failed Betsy. We focused on the pathology of fat, told her to restrict calories, just keep eating less, fix this body fat issue. But what happened? We destroyed her muscle in the process. We destroyed her metabolism. And unfortunately, we damaged her brain. So what did I do? Well, I said, this can't be it. There's more to this story, right? We have other treatment options, right? Do you want to know what I was told? No. This is the standard of care. This is how we treat obesity. Well, you know what? That answer, that answer wasn't good enough for me. And that answer shouldn't be good enough for you. And I realized that we got this all wrong, that we had been trying to fix this disease of obesity for the last 50 years. What if we were trying to fix the wrong disease? What if we don't have an obesity epidemic? What if we have a midlife muscle crisis? We have been focusing on fixing pathology of fat when we need to focus on the health and the strength of our muscle. Body fat is symptomology of impaired muscle. Why not shift this to a muscle-centric perspective and actually move the needle for a lifetime? We focus on muscle mass. We focus on health, dietary protein, and strength. Muscle-centric medicine is root cause medicine. We have to change this perspective. We are not over fat. In fact, we are under-muscled. How do we make sense of all this? How do we make sense of a muscle-centric perspective? This is a cross-sectional area of the thigh. It looks like a marbled steak, doesn't it? You can see C on there is a healthy skeletal muscle, a young, healthy skeletal muscle that is active. E is a older, 66-year-old male. That's also a healthy skeletal muscle. You can see it looks a lot less like a marbled steak. D, now that is what likely 73% of the population looks like. That is skeletal muscle disease. It doesn't, it doesn't have to happen, yet it happens first. Okay, so this is a busy slide. I just want to point out a few things. We talk about insulin resistance, we talk about elevated blood sugar, we talk about elevated triglycerides as if they're some nebulous thing. Last time I checked, you cannot exercise your liver, but what you can do is you can exercise your muscle. Insulin resistance, one of the primary points of insulin resistance is skeletal muscle. Insulin resistance has been shown to start in skeletal muscle as young as 18 years of age or less.